What's going on, society? Welcome back to another 5S Draft League Battle video. We're in week 8, and we got some playoff implications going on here. Montreal Milotix taking on the Worcester Deli Birds. We see Montreal bringing G Max and Teleon, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Ditto, Hatterene, Pulte Geist, and Orbeetle. For the Deli Birds, we see him bringing G Max, Norlax, Rillaboom, Gigalith, Pelipper, Arcanine for the first time all season. Butterfree making an appearance in the last game of the regular season. So, Worcester's already out of the playoffs, unfortunately, but Montreal's seeding is in jeopardy here, away from Oliver, head coach Montreal. So, let's see what happens here. But yeah, playoff seeding implications here. Um, a win, Oliver will secure the third seed. A loss, he'll drop down to the fourth seed, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it always does. All right, Urshifu up against Gigalus, so nice lead for Oliver in Montreal here. Let's see, will Juan swap out Gigalith? Nope. Juan doesn't like to switch out his Pokemon. Um, interesting. So this Surging Strike here is going to take out Gigalith. Oh yeah, working out. So, like I think Rillaboom or even Pelipper would have been like a fine play. Maybe not Pelipper. It's kind of like scary, but you could go Pelipper and just like whip off a Hurricane. I'm sure that would do a lot of damage. Or you can go Rillaboom and just try to Grassy Glide something. Well, let's see what he decides to do here. But yeah, leaving Gigalith in there definitely was play. Okay, so it goes for Pelipper, overwrites the sand. So he's not even going to get, like, the sand chip. Well, he did get some sand chip. But, you know, kind of taking that aspect away. No focus ashes to break on the team as we see here, so I guess it's not that big a deal. Okay, uh, hopefully Pelipper goes for the hurricane here. That would be very nice. That would do a lot of damage to this Inteleon. Okay, hurricane's going to come out. Nice damage on the Inteleon. Can't get no confusion. But he's going to go straight for the Dynamax here. Looks like he wants to overwrite the rain. Set up some hail. Alright, Pelipper's staying in. I think Pelipper should be able to survive this. And then... Like, you're not going to have 100% accurate hurricanes now that the uh, rain's going to be gone. So that'll be... Interesting to see if he can hit that. Let's see, though. Alright, Max Hailstorm. Look at that, Inteleon all the way up there. Ooh, Pelipper just barely hangs on. Okay, so this hail might kill the Pelipper. But, okay, he connects on the Hurricane. Can he get a Confusion off? No. Oh, but Pelipper survived. He doesn't get hit by the hail. Right? Or did I miss that? Does he have umbrella or goggles then? Okay. Pelipper goes down. So, Worcester's already down two Pokemon. Um, they got a pretty free switch into Rillaboom with a Grassy Glide to KO the Inteleon here, though. So that'll be... Um, something they can do. I mean, Rillaboom has to do a lot of work here. Take out the Inteleon. Oh, he goes into Butterfree. I don't understand that. Is it Scarf? Like, I don't understand this, this play here. Is it Sash? Okay. It's Sash, but the hail's just gonna kill it anyway, so what what's it going for? Energy ball. Okay, interesting. 
Um, I mean, Rillaboom was still just the safer play there. So Inteleon goes down, though. Butterfree's also going to go down. So Inteleon picks up two KOs. He's going down to Ore Beetle. So will he go Arcanine or will he go Snorlax here? Because Rillaboom will probably be forced out. Okay, he goes with the Rillaboom. So he could go for a U turn. U turn into uh, Arcanine. Um, or Beetle might try to set up screens here. Oh, so it's just purely screens. Doesn't even have an attacking move. Let's see your turn. How much will this do? Not a lot. So now behind this reflect for seven turns, um, this is going to be very hard for Worcester to kind of break through. Montreal just has so much ammunition still. And this hail is just doing a lot of work here. Urshifu, it looks like. I mean, Urshifu, if this is a fire attack, he'll be able to take it very well, especially behind this reflect. Oh, crunch. Yeah, but that's not effective either. This looks like Montreal is in the driver's seat there. Arcanine goes down. Oh, thanks. Does he have like a different one for everything? I don't know. <laughs> he did like whip him across. Rillaboom's back. It's gonna force the switch out here. I don't even think Ditto is like a bad idea. Yeah, I, I like this play. Because you can, uh, you turn out after and do do some good damage. Let's see what Rillaboom goes for here. The grassy glide, but this will do. I did a little more than I thought it would have actually against Rillaboom, but so now did a Rillaboom can go for something like a U turn here. Get some nice damage off and then go back out into uh, something else. Like, you could even go. What would, what would you go here? Probably Ore Beetle, I would think. Just, like, pivot around some more. Oh, he goes back into Urshifu. Now, what is. Okay, so he goes for his own U turn. I'm just wondering if Worcester can just get like a couple more, right? Just pick up a few more KOs. Pokey Flute for the Snorlax. It took me a moment. It took me a moment. Guys, calm down. 
took me a moment. All right. D Max Norlax is up. Does he have like a Thunder Punch or Zen Headbutt? I think. I think uh, Worcester's Norlax usually runs Zen Headbutt. Okay, is this a weakness policy proc though? Weakness policy proc. Okay. So does he have a super effective move? This might be able to KO the uh, Urshifu here. Okay, it's just replenish. Doesn't take down Urshifu. Unfortunate. I, why do I keep thinking that he used to run like Zen Headbutt or something? Right, Urshifu gets another KO here. Takes down G-Max Norlax. Just Rillaboom. Already pretty low. Hmm. I'm sure Oliver's gonna wanna keep some points, so he's gonna swap back out. Like it'll pick up the last KO here. He'll be able to have that super effective U turn again. <laughs> little, little smacks. Yeah, and this U turn should seal the deal with the Choice Scarf. Takes out Rillaboom, so with that. Montreal picks up the dub, um, secures their place as the third seed, so gets a nice five points there. D Digimon, get out of here, guy. Bye, Oliver. And to all you socialites, stay classy.